This is a demonstration of the cyberspace deck, the PostScript interactive bug eradication routines. It's an interactive visual user interface to a graphical programming environment, the news window system. It lets you display, manipulate, and navigate the data structures, programs, and processes living in the virtual memory space of news. It's useful as a debugging tool and a hands-on way to learn about programming in PostScript and news. Now, I can type PostScript expressions in the text window at the bottom, and it updates the stack to show me the PostScript processes stack. Now, I can perform direct stack manipulation by grabbing the tabs of these windows and moving them around. Now, I can exchange these two items on the stack, you know, change the order, or take objects off of the stack and just let them rest by the side, and it affects the stack accordingly. Now, uh, PostScript has other data types like strings and arrays, and Arrays are very interesting. They're composite objects, and I can open them up by clicking on them. So these are editable objects that I can select and drag out onto the stack, just like any other object. Now, I can also edit these arrays by dropping things into them. So I can actually manipulate the PostScript data structures directly with the mouse, as well as manipulating the processes stack. Uh, there are things like dictionaries. News uses an object-oriented programming package that uses dictionaries to represent objects, instances. And also, there are special data types, such as the canvas, that look like dictionaries, but are actually internal window system objects, or like lightweight processes, or canvases, the windows on the screen. Now, this has a lot of items, and it takes up a lot of space on the screen, but I can adjust its point size by popping up a menu on this object, selecting the view, and selecting point size, and dragging out the size of the point size. Now, smaller, reasonable 14 point, now, this is an open look menu object. The tab tells the data type. Uh, the things inside of it, I can drag out onto the desktop and pop open, or even pop open to deeper levels. And as I get deeper and deeper, the uh, point size shrinks. Oops, if something's, if I just want to see an overview, I can make the point size uh, practically illegible. And I can, I can edit the point size at any point in the display. And it's reformatting. Oh, lordy. So these objects actually comprise the window system. Now, there are other ways to edit these things. For example, a number here. I can open up a special editor on this number, a step editor. Now I have these plus and minus buttons, and I can press plus and increase the number, and press minus and decrease it. And if I want to change the step by which the step editor edits that number, I can edit the step in the step editor. And now I can change the step. Now this increments by two. If I want to change that step, I can you know, recursively open step editors to any depth. There's other types of editors, too. Uh, zap pops this. OK, now, one convenient menu item is the canvases menu item on the background that allows me to point to a window on the screen and edit that. So I'll point to the window that is the cyberspace deck window. And this gives me an array of three items. This is the frame buffer encloses the frame, encloses the cyberspace deck window. And I can open a canvas editor on that, and that's actually, this 
is a view of that canvas in the canvas that encloses it. And since it's inside the frame, it takes up most of it. But these are the canvases inside it. Um, the wide one here, well, let's just guess. Let's open up a canvas editor on these children. Now, this represents this canvas. I can actually grab it and change its location. I'll open up a canvas editor on this other child. And that probably represents an unmapped canvas. The canvas editor on this child. That's this big one. So these are actually handles on real components of the window system. And this debugger has a whole bunch of uh, functions that just make programming in PostScript a lot more pleasurable than it would be otherwise.